Hi Leo and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look at and see what the cards are predicting for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading guys so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what's coming in for you. This reading is intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus Rising and to those of you cross watching as well. Okay, Justice. Emperor. Okay, um, some of you may be involved with an individual whom I feel like they may have feelings for you, but they're not necessarily showing it. And as a result, you could be questioning whether or not they hold any romantic feelings for you, right? Because the Emperor is an energy that He's not very mushy, he's quite, he's quite an alpha, he's very masculine and therefore he can come across as, you know, a little bit stone cold here. Um, but I do see that someone here is coming across a certain way, but I do feel like this is someone who is emotionally invested, okay? Now for some of you, there's also a third party situation being indicated here with the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. I feel like there is going to be an ending to a third party situation. Okay, so someone here is cutting ties with a third party. So, you know, whether it's you or whether it's a connecting energy, finally, no more third party situation. Or if that's not the case, then this may be, this reading here may be an invitation to do so because two is company, three is a crowd, and it's distorting, disrupting a sense of balance and a sense of equilibrium in terms of a relationship here. Now, with justice here that's made an appearance, I'm getting the message that karmic justice is being cleared. So could be you here, Leo, you could be in a position where you've you're sort of clearing your karmic debt, you're clearing your karm, you know, karmic justice here is also maybe coming back around. Um, but I feel like you're paying your dues. Okay, I feel like you're paying your dues. Anything, like any certain events or happenings that may be occurring here could be a result of karmic debt here, okay, that has been banked up. It could also be an invitation here, Leo, for some of you to sort of, um, it's a card that, it's a reminder, I guess, that justice is going to be served. And it could also be an invitation for you here to take responsibility for your actions or to hold someone accountable for their okay so perhaps if you're in a third party situation or any other situation in which justice needs serving um you know balance needs restoring here so you need to be able to take responsibility and hold accountable for the ensuing consequences or someone here around you uh, you may do you may need to be doing that for someone here around you okay um also if you're going to make a decision, be ready here to stand by your decision because I'm seeing that I'm seeing that you're going to have to invest in some decisions and choice and some choices here, but you need to stand. Okay? You you need to stand by those decisions, stand by those choices, not waver, and you need to make sure that they're in alignment here with, you know, the high your highest good here. So the question you need to ask yourself is, do you stand by your actions? Do you stand by your decisions? And also the consequences of those actions, because I am getting a very strong sense of karmic justice here and karma, you know, what goes around coming comes around here. The truth here, as you explore a truth of some sort here, Leo, perhaps in relation to a third party situation, perhaps for some of you, you're not yet quite aware that there is someone whom you're romantically involved with. This person is already attached to someone else. Okay, now they're doing a good job as coming across of someone who, as coming across as someone who um, is very committed, is very loyal and very trustworthy. But the truth is not what you know it to be. So as you 
as you embark on this quest and this search for the truth, I'm seeing that you will discover that things are not as clear cut as you thought they were. Okay, so be very aware of what you consider to be true here and what you consider to be fair and ethical as well. So with the Ten of Pentacles, as a culmination of some sort. I feel like there's something here that's building up to something big. So if you are in a romantic connection, it could be that things are elevating for you in that regard. Um, for others, I feel like there's something here that's building up for you. It could be that you're becoming more of yourself on a spiritual level here. It could be the culmination of a long journey, um, your own journey or your journey with someone. But there is something here that I feel like is building up for you. And it feels like it's in a good way, though. But the question is, what's next? What else, you know, what else is there or where to from here? So definitely a culmination of some sort here. I'm seeing some sort of invitation here being extended to you with the Three of Cups. Um, someone here could be taking you out. Someone here, I feel like, could be inviting you out. Someone here could be making plans here to take you out to wine and dine you here. If any invitations are being extended your way, make sure you open yourself up, okay? Because I feel like this will be very memorable. And I also see any social engagements, so parties, work functions, anything like that. For those of you that are single, you might potentially connect with someone romantically. You might potentially meet someone um, very compatible, okay? And if not, at the very least, you will definitely have yourself a good time here. You'll be able to let your hair down. You might even make new connections and even network here for some of you. But things are good with the Three of Cups energy. Things are really good. Okay, they're in a great energy here. It's also very likely for those of you that are romantically involved with someone, a social gathering of some sort might bring the two of you closer together. Okay, so if you're seeing someone, you know, whether it's a work function um, or whether it's through like a friend's social gathering, however this happens, I feel like this is going to bring you closer together here. Some of you, a close friendship could turn romantically here. Okay, a friendship even at work could also turn romantically here as well. Okay, I did mention, you know, a strong third, third party situation, or I do feel like with the three of swords here, some of you may still be carrying some hurt or some pain from a previous relationship, from a previous connection. And perhaps you're the you're taking on the emperor energy, whereas you're trying to project an image to everyone around you that you're doing fine, that you've moved on. But deep down inside, maybe you're not necessarily confronting the truth of a situation. So however you interpret this to be your situation, there is a truth here that needs to be discovered. Okay, and the truth is not as clear cut as you think it is. Um, but I'm also seeing that there is, there could be a sense of dis you being dishonest with yourself, not being able to confront your pain or your feelings individually and head on here. So with the Three of Swords, it's a reminder to do some purging, to do some inner cleansing here, okay, some healing. Because there is still some sort of pain that may still linger. There is, and to me, it feels like this pain here, if you're choosing to ignore it, and if you're choosing to suppress it, you can only bury it for so long because by ignoring it, essentially, you're actually feeding it. You're actually feeding it and it's thriving in your energy. So feel it to heal it. Okay, Do not suppress anything. Cry if you have to. Get mad if you have to. But it feels like you need to do some purging. Um, even some purging of any old belongings or any old feelings, any old hurt or resentment. Um, forgive anyone, okay? Do not be too stubborn here, Leo. You can be like that sometimes. Forgive yourself. Forgive anyone that, even if you think they don't deserve your forgiveness, forgive them nevertheless because we don't want that running around in your subconscious, right? So there's some heavy messages for you, um, but that's all I have. So thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I uh, will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.